This is Tuesday, the 5th of July, 2022, and we are in Rethamall by the Four Witnesses Church. It's a beautiful, beautiful church. Let's just look, take a bit of a band of lots of noise, so please forgive me. We're going to walk up and we're going to go in. And I'm going to be telling you a bit more about the four witnesses, the four martyrs that died for their Christianity and you beheaded. So their names are Achilles, Emmanuel, Georgius, and Nicholas the Sepsis. Yeah, they've got four pictures depicting of these four martyrs and in this church behind the Urshui, which I'm going to show you now, there is the Urshui right in front. Only the priests have access to three of the four skulls that they keep there. They, they mention and say, hey, these are the holy skulls. So this is a Greek Orthodox church and here yeah, they celebrate the four witnesses. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to tell you a bit more standing over here by another picture of the four witnesses. And it shows you how they were killed. You can't really see it clearly here because of the lighting. Here's a picture. And how they were tried, how the, 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 the Turkish uh, Pasha uh, tried to persuade them to embrace Islam and they said no and then here's a picture where they were beheaded so it's quite a sad story but here goes I'm going to give you slight more detail forgive me as I just get this all correct and then I need to just change my glasses so I can read what I'm saying to you Oh, nice. Okay. So in 1824, when the revolution was suppressed in Crete, the Turks arrested the four Christian witnesses and led them to Mehmet, the Turkish Pasha of Rethamor, who tried to persuade them to return to the Islamic faith. The four Christian witnesses were severely beaten and imprisoned and tortured, tortured and eventually they were beheaded. In, and this date was on the October the 28th, 1824 at Magali. Porta, the great, now known as the Great Gate. This, the Rethamore, the area around you, near the ancient city, the Venetian city, they celebrate these four witnesses now and they mention them as the protectors of the city. Their relics are divided amongst the monastery of Arcadia, Rethano, Monossus, in the sanctuary of the, uh, of the temple, and is an osary, as I just told you, about the four skulls, that are the three skulls that are kept. I'm just going to take four candles. Let's pay some money here. Let's take four candles. And let's go and celebrate these four witnesses that gave their lives for Jesus Christ. So the first candle is Achilles. So that one is for Achilles. Thank you, Achilles, for giving your life to Christ. We pray for the, your bloodline to be blessed in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Then Emmanuel. Thank you, Emmanuel, for giving your life for Christ, the ultimate sacrifice for any Christian. And may your bloodline be blessed by the blessed name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Thank you, Georgius, for giving your life for Christ. And may the Lord 
bless your bloodline. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Nicholas, for your sacrifice, giving your life to Christ. And may Jesus bless your bloodline. I pray for all their families. I pray this in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We do not, as Christians, pray to any of these things. I do not believe in that. We pray to Jesus Christ alone. And we thank God for putting them on this earth to stand up for Christ, which is so precious. Uh, we know about two witnesses that are coming during the tribulation, and that I'm going to go to Patmos, and I'm going to read more and walk where John walked. But again, we do not honor John. We do not pray through John. We do not pray. To these saints, these wonderful guys that gave their, their martyrs, that gave their life for Christ. We thank them. We thank God for them. And may God bless their bloodlines. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, the only person we pray through, Jesus Christ.